Welcome back to Good Springs! Oh, uh, what are we doing in Good Springs? I know nothing normally ever happens here, but two people have showed up and they want our help. The first person we're gonna talk to is in the Prospector Saloon. Oh, uh, why are they always in the Prospector Saloon? Why can't they be in Victor's house? I wanna go somewhere new. <laughs> Get out of here, tumbleweed! Hey, yeah! Yippee! Get on out of here! Get! Get! I said get! Tumbleweed's oh, always gotta travel in Paris. <laughs> they made for life! Ah. <laughs> uh. Time for a drink, maybe? Um... How curious. I think this might be who we're supposed to talk to. Who are you, and what do you need? Hello, my name is Zack. Yeah, I know about you. You're that courier, right? The one that got capped in the head? Anyway, never mind that. My name's Mercury. Nice to meet you. I would shake your hand, but as you can see, I'm a little unarmed in that department, if you know what I mean. Ahahaha! <laughs> <laughs> Puns. Uh. For a robot, you seem pretty self-aware. Why, thank you very much, friend. I think that may be due to the fact that I was once alive. But that's a story for another time, my friend. If you are deciding to talk to a wreck such as myself, there must be a reason to do so. So, may I ask why you have struck up a conversation with me? You seemed out of place! Yeah, because you don't look like you belong in here. You're the first person to actually talk to me, apart from Trudy. Whenever she does, it's always far from nice, but we get along just fine. Yeah, you're real popular around here, alright. Yeah, I think you probably should leave. You should come with us! <sighs> really? You mean that? Well, I am honored, that's for sure. I'll make sure to pack my things immediately. You sound like you're kind of down, Zack. Like you're not into this. You know how I feel about companions. Yeah, and this is the first one we've got, because Vincent and Hope are taking the day off. Why are they taking the day off? They don't get a day off. <laughs> yeah, they do. No, they don't. They're robots. Yeah. They don't need days off. Ooh. They've got to get their joints oiled. Who is lubing their joints? They are, to each other. That's weird. Yep. Why don't you tell me about yourself? Okay. What do you want to know? Where did you grow up? I, um, grew up here in the Mojave. Let's get going, shall we? <laughs> you look so aged! <laughs> you seem very apprehensive to talk about yourself. So how did you turn from a human into... a brain in a Hellman's pickle jar? Well, to be honest, I don't really know. I remember working in my lab and feeling faint in the head. And then woke up like this. And that was that. A drunken bender if I've ever heard one. There must be some clue about who did this. Where was your lab located? My lab is up north, near the northern passage. Do you want to go investigate who did this? Yeah, sure thing. Sounds good. I haven't been to my lab in months. I'd be surprised if it hasn't been ransacked or something. Cheer up a little bit. God! <laughs> Too much of a downer for you? Yeah. Well, don't worry. Our next companion's even perkier. Oh, Lord. Where are we going now? Should by any chance to turn up the radio? No. No radios. No radios. We destroy all radios on site. Which you're looking kind of like a radio, my friend. Oh, I think I need to oil up my joints again. I told you, Zach. Robots gotta oil up their joints. They gotta uh, loom up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knock, knock, Joshua. Hello there. Hey. You look... Capable. And you know, I'm looking for a hired gun. Or even a hired wise guy. I need help and it pays. You interested? We're just the help you need, Joshua. Whatever you need done, we can do it. Sure, what Mike said. Huh, <laughs> wicked. Let's head to the tops. Talk to me when you want to know more about the job. England relies on melee and unarmed combat. Joshua's presence increases your melee and unarmed not- Okay, cool. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. What do you want to know? Where are you from? Well, I'm from England. The northern parts, really. There are usually a few settlements along the coast. Never anything big time like the Strip. I grew up in a library near the coastline. We had this really ugly teacher. She was always like... Hey Joshua, you didn't file your paperwork last evening. <laughs> anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. What else did you want to know? How did you get here? Did you cross the Bering Strait, or did you cross the sea? The UK isn't exactly a hopeful place. I want to make my fortune. 
Okay, but I started to deal with some chaps how, who I knew how who here, the how here, uh, how the here. Deal was simple. I get a loan, they get the money, and I make a living. What wasn't so simple was getting robbed blind by who I believe is the man who gave me the loan. Ah, so that's what the quest is about. Long story cut short, I was going to press a bunch of caps with some machines I acquired, with the loan money, of course. That's illegal. And since there's loads of money involved, I'm sure you're interested. He's a cap forger. He's a cap forger, so we should kill him right now. He is a criminal. Criminal. Even though we've done criminal. Now, how did you get to the U.S.? <laughs> what do you want to know? How you got to the U.S.? Well, if you're not going to tell us that, tell us how England is. Yes, is it foggy London town? Cold. Weird, ugly monsters to confuse for people. Not much else, really. Sounds like before the apocalypse, too. <laughs> you have to rely on melee and unarmed stuff there. Guns are rare, and even if you get your hands on one, bullets are even more rare. No guns! There's far more going on here. People actually have some amount of hope anyway, which is why I came here. But how did you get here? And where'd you get that gun? I got this when I was passing through New Vegas. I dodged some holes in it to save some weight. Looks cooler, too. It doesn't work like that, but sure. <laughs> what do you mean it doesn't work like that? You can't just go drilling holes in a gun willy-nilly. Well, not willy-nilly, but where there's extra metal, you probably can. That metal's there for a reason, Mike. It's not like he can't drill into the buttstock of his rifle. There's nothing stopping him from Ooh, doing that. Ooh, you are making me so mad! He might not have room for his rifle cleaning kit now, but nevertheless, it'll lighten the weight. Oh, share the load. What? <laughs> How did you get involved with the guys at the tops? When I got here, I talked to the guy at the tops, Rocco. He said I should consider working with him as it pays well, so I did. I took a loan out to find a cap pressing machine, and that's pretty much how I got into this mess. And you can't pay it back because the forgery money's no good. I heard of a couple of nutters wandering the wastes. One's a magician, and the other has some shotgun fetish. <laughs> what is it a foot fetish? <laughs> I wonder I who could that possibly be? I don't- I don't like what you just did. I don't like it. I don't like it. I- I don't like it. Anytime- anytime anybody references us, I'm just- I'm so excited about it. That is actually a pretty cool gun, but you didn't really need to do that to reduce the weight of the pistol grip, considering that's made of plastic and it's already really light. Let me just calibrate my phasers. The lasers? No, his phasers. What's the difference? You know, in New Vegas North, 50 caps goes a very long way. Phaser is something else. Laser is... <laughs> Oi, we got a couple of talkative companions today, don't we? Getting the jollies off. Okay, let's just go do something. Would you like to go get some crisps, which is what we call chips, and chips is what we call fries. Oh, 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 oh right in me wobble schnozzer. God. <laughs> ah! Have you heard of the boomers? Bunch of corn-fed meth men, if you ask me. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what happened to the lights? Oh, never mind. My mom should just flick it again. Fine, well, how about Mercury first since we talked to him first? Okay, that's fair. For an American, you certainly have a thick British accent. Tell me more about that. Yeah, I noticed that. I think the guy who did this must have turned on the voice modulator from a Mr. Gutsy. Don't know what he did to make it sound specifically like this, but hey ho. He's an American robot with an English voice modulator. So he says, but he's being really suspicious, so keep your eye out if he does something weird. Is that a pun, because he's only got one eye? I'll keep an eye on him. It wasn't meant to be a pun. Don't you start with me. <laughs> Don't you start with your puns. I've never seen your type of robot before. Well, I can shoot phaser beams out of my forehead, I can fly very fast, and I cannot fly straight half the time. <laughs> That sounds more like a bug than a feature. Tell me about your name. Well, my name is actually a nickname given to me by my friends when we all worked in a lab together. I used to be fascinating in both astrology and chemistry. So my friends deemed it necessary to call me something which is related to both. Besides, I think it's a cool name. Don't you mean astronomy? What's the difference? Astrology is predicting your bar chart and trying to pick up women in the 1960s. <laughs> Astronomy is studying stars. Here, I thought he was named after his personality, since he seemed so mercurial. Oh, you're staring real intently at Joshua's stock. Yeah, it's fascinating how it has holes in it. I can't help but think, 
Maybe I should drill holes in my game. You better not! That's a Magpul PRS stock, and if you drill holes in it, it ain't gonna work properly. What do you mean? Didn't you ever wonder what those little screws on the back of your stock are for? Thought they were for decoration. No, they're for adjustment, for length of pull and cheek rise. What if I just got rid of the entire structure there? Unscrewed all those screws. Uh Uh-huh. And then drilled a bunch of holes into it. Well, then your stock is just gonna have a big open hole in the back of it. How would you make it lighter otherwise? Putting a lighter weight stock on there. You know what would make my gun even lighter? If I got rid of this cumbersome upper receiver. Yeah, that's definitely going to make it lighter and <laughs> totally make it still function. I rented a motel room in Novak a while ago, and in the middle of the bloody night, a woman was yapping on about a bloody dinosaur. <laughs> she does that. <laughs> yep. That's our hope. Da, 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 da. Hope. Hey, Mercury's Lab. Here are the doors. It's like a storm shelter thing. But out in the middle of nowhere. Do you have important things down here, Mercury? I hope not, because it's full of fiends. Whoa, what just happened? Did I break my brain? <laughs> I think I broke my brain again. Oh, this guy had a baseball bat. I probably didn't need to unload like three rounds of buckshot into him. <laughs> Mike, what's your favorite part about basements? I like the fact that they're so underground and filled with enemies. Yeah, this one isn't. Oh, it's just underground. This is his lab. This is a really sad lab. <laughs> my lab is better than this, and it's technically a meth lab. Uh, <laughs> hello, Mr. Rumples. What kind of experiments has he been doing here on stuffed animals? Surgical tubing. Bloodstained table. First aid kit. Boxes from Big Mountain. I'm very concerned all of a sudden. I don't know if his experiments were ethical or not. Pound sign. Hashtag wrong. No, it's a pound sign, Mike. Hashtag wrong. No, Mike, it's a pound sign. We've been over this. Hashtag whatever you say, old man. To all those that read this, I, the Magnificent M, have done the impossible. With the help of my trusty sidekick, I have been able to create a new form of Stim Pack, introducing the Stimmy Pack! Wait for a applause, Dan. This new invention of mine can be made while traveling. No need to spend over 90 caps anymore with my new invention. You can use common household ingredients such as Error, and also Error, 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 and finally, the most important, item number four not found. Wait for the applause at the end. Thank you for listening. I am willing to take questions now. And then I leave quickly without taking any questions. Haven't seen Pete in a couple of days. Said he was going to get more supplies. I don't think he's coming back. Dear diary, date entry four months ago. Susie went missing too. Tried looking for her down near Good Springs. No luck. Damn it, I told everyone to stay in the lab and not to leave. It's a shithole. But yeah. Uh, but y- yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but at least it's safe and we won't get robbed while we're all inside it. Nope, just me and John now. He's been giving me dirty looks recently after I proposed a new idea to him. Help the wasteland and provide better health care for people. He called me crazy, saying I was out of my mind and there was no point in helping savages. Typical, hey, grow up in a vault and think you were all big time. What a rat. Okay, so now we know a bit about this guy. What do you need? We were poking around in your lab, found a stuffed animal that had been stabbed with knives. Is that your doing? Also, what happened to your team? We all worked together and got stuff done. But when Pete left, tension started between me and John. Susie was... pretty neutral throughout until John took an experiment too far. He took a child, some kid. The kid was an orphan, but it's not right. He tested my formulas on the kid. He... changed him. He turned him into something... Good? Not human. Oh! So I had to put him down. Poor kid. Me and John never saw eye to eye after that. Ah, because you've only got one. Why would you still work with this guy after he made those children Ah, monsters? gross children! He was still a good guy, if you could believe it. He was pretty shook up by the experience too, for a time, until he just forgot about it and got even more hostile and violent. And then Susie left, leaving just me and John in the lab together. I heard that you and him made a new type of stim pock called the, um, stimmy pock. Ah, uh, yes. I almost forgot about that. The stimmy pack was brilliant. Truly, it was. All you needed was basic household supplies to make it. If you need any, just come by every day. I can construct them in this metal tomb of mine and give you them. Are they better than stim packs? Did John have a problem with the stimmy pack idea? 
He thought that we couldn't get money from drunkies. He said that they wanted to get sicker, not better. So, what? thought that it would be a waste of time. I have questions for John. One of which being, wh what? <laughs> the other one being, wait, what? He might be near Red Rock Canyon. That's where we used to meet people when we sold our inventions to. Who are you selling your inventions to? The invention to turn children into monsters? Have you heard of Malcolm Holmes? Heard a couple of lunatics screaming his name a while ago. Shortly followed by gunfire. <laughs> Good figure. Lots of gunfire. <laughs> Lots of gunfire. Also grenades. You missed the grenade fire. Yeah, there was so much of that. It's easy to get them messed up, but grenades... Grenades make more of a kind of whistling noise when they go through the air because they're, they're subsonic. No, they're not. Are they really subsonic? Yeah, they don't break the sound barrier. Oh. Otherwise, it would just break your freaking shoulder when you try oh. to fire it. For some reason, I thought subsonic meant faster than the speed of Oh, no, 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 no. It's other way. Subsonic means they're slower than the speed of sound. Yeah, they only go like 400-something feet per second. Oh, hell, I'm subsonic. Me shooting my gun is subsonic. Well, well, yeah, you shooting your gun is subsonic, but the bullets coming out of it aren't. Me telling you that you're ugly is subsonic. Yes. Well, actually, no, you're saying stuff at the speed of sound. So you're not supersonic or subsonic. You're just sonic. The hedgehog. He's got an attitude! Sonic! He's the fastest thing alive! He's the fastest thing alive! <laughs> do do do! Pew! Oh! <laughs> hey, look, that guy drilled holes in his rifle, too! There's already holes in it! They were done there by the manufacturer! All I wanted to do was write Sonic in Peach's fan fiction. I don't care about your sexual preference. <laughs> Shut up and die quietly. <laughs> I don't care about your fan fiction character's sexual preferences either. Oh, look, it landed right on top of the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> All seeing eye, tell us, what is your command? Come along, Powder Ganger. You too must be sacrificed. Please don't sacrifice me. I'm just a simple dead body. I don't know no better. <laughs> and this tricycle. <laughs> <laughs> Mercury, I warn you not to get in the way again. The all-seeing eye will not be pleased with your misdoings. Whoa! I should change the sign from Gamora to Gonorrhea. Place stinks. If they change the Gamora's name to Gonorrhea, I don't think it's going to attract as much business. Think about these things. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We just need one more. Bu oh, can't forget this leg. Up from downtown! Two points! <laughs> Woo! Get in there. Get in there, you little scamp. Come on. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh we'll pick you up by your foot. There you go, buddy. Come on, in you go. <laughs> so, we're in the pit here, the empty silo floor. Right, quickly, bodies. Mike! Ignite the pit with me inside it! I wish to be burned in the name of our Lord, the all-seeing eye! Oh, are you still in the eye's possession now? Yes, I am still in the cult of the all-seeing eye bulb! Are you trapped in there now? No. Feels like you might be trapped in there now. No, of course I'm not trapped. I just need to move this tricycle for feng shui reasons. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in elementary school, Miss Frizzle came to our class... If Remember Miss Frizzle from, from the Magic School bus? May. Yeah, she's a cartoon character. She isn't real. No, she was real, and she came to our class. There was a woman dressed up like Miss Frizzle, so it was definitely her. And she asked... I'm, I'm sure it was the actual Miss Frizzle and not just a random lady. Oh, we got a couple of fiends we got to take care of quickly. Yeah, I know. Hang on. Or you could take care of them quickly, since you've got the grenade launcher. Helpful. Very much. Joshua, why do you have that axe? We need a ranged weapon. Use a ranged weapon! Those are your fists, Joshua! <laughs> we need you to use ranged weapons, Joshua. Alright, and best with blades, just so you know. Why would you customize a rifle if all you're going to use is melee weapons? <laughs> You've got the right idea. Keep using your melee weapon. Huh, <laughs> good. Been waiting for this. Uh, that was sarcasm! No, use a gun! Yeah! Alright, but my eyesight isn't great, so if I hit something that isn't the enemy, sorry in advance. There's something better not than me, otherwise we're gonna have serious problems. Ow! 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 I'm getting shot by things! Oh, there he is! <laughs> Alright, problem solved! No thanks to you, Joshua! 
And for all that talk of phasers, Robot Mercury ain't really doing much either. Yeah, he isn't. He's just being stupid. Dummy. <laughs> Stop shooting at me! Is John a fiend? Or maybe he's paid the fiends to be his bodyguards? Oh, uh, you know what? I bet you're right. Ah, oh, I found it! Found John's hideout. It's right here. So, John! I'm so proud of you not stepping in the bear trap. Uh, thanks, Papa. <laughs> hey, buddy. Need any... Um... What is that? Uh, it's a gun. His name is Zach, and that over there is Joshua. She's my gal Friday. She does whatever I want. Hey! <laughs> Wait, are you talking about our little robot friend here? Calling him a friend is going a bit far, but yes. Everybody's a friend until they become our enemy. Oh, you're talking about Mercury. Oh, God, please don't shoot me, please. I didn't mean to do it, I swear. They, they made me do it. They said they would kill me. Uh, who? Please don't kill me, please. Who are you talking about? Who's gonna kill you? I don't know. They send me notes. Here, look at this. Please just leave. I don't want to die. That's a convincing argument not to kill somebody if I've ever heard one. Alright, let's read that note. It has come to my attention that one of your colleagues is starting getting involved with matters that do not concern him. If you value your business, follow my instructions closely. All you need to do is knock him out and then leave his body outside of the Repcon facility. We will take care of the rest, Arthur. I'm having a little trouble following the plot of this quest. It's a little difficult. Uh, John didn't like what Mercury was up to, so someone contacted John and told him to knock Mercury unconscious and leave him outside of the Repcon facility. I talked to John for you? As I heard. Thank you. I guess we better head to the Repcon facility. Have you got anything to say about me killing him? No? Okay. Me. Lonely. You were talking to the most popular guy in Good Springs, my friend. Isn't that right, my fellow barfly? Fuck off, tank can bastard. You see? Do you know Randall? Ooh. He gave me a contract, and well, time is money, and I just about spent it all listening to his stories about Mississippi. He talks about Randall, too. Was that Randall he was talking about? Yeah, he was talking about Randall. Really? Yeah. Huh. 